so I can segment the virtual network from the physical network or even further we can have multiple virtual machines over here in Proxmox and we can make it that only some can talk to others because they're not going to be on the same network per se. So if we come back over here to Big Lab and we're back in the networking tab, I need to set VMBR0 to be VLAN aware. So what's going to do is this virtual bridge is aware of VLANs as they go through the network. So as the traffic from certain hosts is getting tagged for whatever VLAN it might be on, it knows where and where not to send that traffic. So I just need to click on it. I can come over here where it says VLAN aware and just check this off. And we can actually limit it to whatever VLANs we might want. So you can make it as a range or you can make it one or you can make it specific ones if you need, you know, two, four, eight, however it might be. I'm just gonna make VLAN one for now. So you do need to start at two. I, I misread it even though I looked at it twice. So I'm just gonna make VLAN two and now we can click okay. We're gonna apply these settings and now we're all set. Now VLANs can be a little tricky if it's not something you've worked with in the past. Just think of it as we have our home network at our house. Let's say we have a slash 24 so we could have about 253 hosts, give or say. We might not want everything to be able to communicate with everything else. We might not want our IoT devices to be able to reach everything across our house or everything inside our house to be able to reach our IoT devices. Let's say you have like a smart doorbell or you have, you know, maybe cameras and you don't want the cameras accessible from the entire network. We can break our network in our house up into a smaller piece and we can VLAN it by creating this virtual network inside of the larger network. We can assign all of our cameras per se to VLAN 2 and everything else in the house might be on the regular network or maybe a different VLAN. What it's going to do is we're only going to be able to reach the cameras now from a loud host. So let's say your PC might be where you want to be able to access the cameras or maybe you have a DVR. The DVR would be on the same VLAN as the cameras, but nothing else would be. So the DVR would only be able to access the cameras, but somebody's phone would not be. So that's kind of how we can split up networks so everything can be either more secure or so it doesn't have access fully. Maybe you want your servers to be on a different VLAN so they don't interact with anything else in the house or interfere with traffic or something like that. You can VLAN out your servers on VLAN 3. They can't reach the cameras on VLAN 2. But your computer on VLAN 1 is also a member of VLAN 3. It can reach your server, but you can also get it from it from your workstation.